So we know that the active site is where the chemical reactions occur. But how do reactions occur exactly? There are two theories as to the mechanism of action. Let us first look at the lock and key hypothesis, which is the first model of enzymatic action. The lock and key idea comes from treating the enzyme as a lock and the substrate as a key. Only the right key can unlock the lock, just as how your house keys can't open your neighbor's door for good reasons. This explains the specificity of enzymes to their respective substrates. The main point of this hypothesis is that the structure of the active site, your lock, remains the same throughout the enzymatic action, reaction, and the key must hence be perfectly complementary to the lock. That's why the lock unlocks and the enzymatic reaction happens. When the enzyme and substrate collide in the correct orientation, binding occurs and an enzyme-substrate complex is formed. The reaction occurs and the molecules within the active site are rearranged to form products. The products will actually have a different structure from that of the substrates. Since the products no longer fit in the active site due to the change in 3D conformation, they are released from the enzyme and the active site is available once again to bind to other substrate molecules.